Okay, this is an additional video to the other three or four videos that are out there providing partially true information and partially missing out certain key aspects. In my case, I use the IdeaPad Gaming 3 version 1.5 AR H05. And as you can see, I already unscrewed everything. Sorry for the inconvenience of this wonky picture, but I have a two-fold zoom enabled in order to record this. If I do the dot, uh, what is it, 07.7 .7 zoom thing, uh, the Google Pixel 6 cam can't turn it, turn the picture sharp for shit. And one is also not sufficient enough, so we go with two-folds uh, zooming for whatever reason. This somehow works. And uh, here we can see um, yeah, the cooling fin, uh, the metal, and uh, yeah, everything and all that. And in this section you can see the RAM. I already removed this. And luckily for me, there was also the sticker. I don't know, can you see it somewhere? Yeah, they placed the sticker so you pull out... Uh, this is, wait, this is the old RAM, you know? And I had to... Put the sticker on there back again a little bit askew because fuck consumers that's why but let's go there here you can see um in the video they say it's only possible to upgrade to 16 gigabytes of ram and in the comments they wrote no it is possible to upgrade to 32 gigabytes of ram so somebody had to find it out the physical and hard way and that's why i bought these 32 gigabyte kick, this 32 gigabyte kit, here you have 16 gigabytes, and here you have 16 gigabytes. This makes 32 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes works. Beautiful, this is how we find this out. Instead of just putting it in the video, or doing the video properly, no. And uh, there's like three videos saying only 16 gigabytes, you know, and also Lenovo, fucking Lenovo, uh, they also say, no, 16 gigabytes is possible. So. All of these sources straightly, straight, you know, lying to your face. <laughs> this is quite nice. You have the battery, not important in, in this video. Then we have the M.2 drive. Uh, this drive was here. You have here a screw and you have there a screw. So 2280 is possible. And not the shortest, but the second, I think it's 48.2, yeah, 2248, this is this one. Very strange for me. It's not 2240, or was it 2230, I don't know, but this is 2248, so you gotta be careful with that. If you want to replace, you know, this was in the beginning basically here, you know. And I wanted to upgrade because this has 512 gigabytes, as you can see, right here. And I wanted to upgrade to 2 terabytes, because why not? In the video, it also says 512 gigabytes. And in the comment, I think the same uploader dude says like, yeah, 2 terabytes is possible. Why didn't you mention this in the video, man? Why? Why didn't you mention it in the video? So, then I wanted to just, I installed this one, you know. I didn't do a fresh install, I had the Windows 11 boot stick in there. And had this on the, where is it, there is somehow... Storage only, yeah, storage only. What does storage only mean? Here's like system drive, yeah, system storage. Here is storage only. This means they imply if you put like a Windows drive in there, Windows won't start from there. This is total other bullshit. It doesn't matter if there is an empty drive there. It doesn't matter when this Windows drive is in here. You will still boot from there. So, this information is also lying to you. Keep this in mind. Every information that you gather is, you know, a lie. Maybe my presentation video is also a lie. Maybe a special model does it also very different. But I'm here to back to differ, to show the fucking differences that are being, that are important, you know. Here you see the 2280 long drive. And I also upgraded from uh, Wi-Fi 5 uh, M.2 card thingy to a uh, Wi-Fi 6E card. I don't know if you can see this somewhere. Uh, yeah, somewhere, somehow the main specs are uh, blah, blah, blah. The funny thing is I asked ChatGPT and I think this is 2, black is 2, gray is 1, 
two is the main one, one is the auxiliary one, and if you put this in reverse order, you will get into big trouble. Here you can also see main two, aux one. And I think this is the basic, uh, what is it, the basic uh, procedure for these things. And in theory, uh, a funny thing is, uh, you can also put somehow, if I'm not mistaken, you could put up an SSD in there. There's like this SSD slot, but this requires you to, um, yeah, that you get like some sort of connector thingamajig from SSD SATA 3 to this M.2 uh, thing. I also wanted to look about look into this because I didn't know this exists. But keep in mind, this is PCE Gen 3. You know, this is like 1.5 gigabytes of writing and reading, if I'm not mistaken. I might be incorrect on this one. And this is only, SATA 3 is like 500 megabytes of reading and writing, you know. So this is like one third the speed on the SSD SATA 3. And this is threefold the speed, just like this one. I could have also bought like a PCI Gen 4, uh, two terabyte thingamajig, but this would have been more expensive and I would not be able to use it. Three sort of uh, might have been an advantage to have more, uh, what is it, sort of cache or RAM in writing a lot of small or big files for a longer period of time, but I don't know. But this is like what I wanted to, you know, correct. 32 gigabytes, 1616. Uh, you can upgrade, maybe you can even upgrade to Wi Fi 7. Uh, I don't know, I'm not so interested. I, I heard like Wi Fi 7 is the shit, but yeah, blah blah blah. And yeah. Two terabytes you could also get like a short uh, as far as I've seen it short to terabyte uh, 2248 um, m.2 drive you know as long as the other one I showed you this one yeah and it's quite hard because the zoom is here and then my finger is showing there I thought it would be yeah anyway you could also get like a two terabyte drive of this one but keep in mind the longer ones have a better cooling range and are less expensive plus uh, yeah here you have a shorter one so you have a less they have a better cooling range, but there is also the battery, and I think the battery is also getting quite hot. So I don't know from an engineering perspective if this is such a good idea, if this is sort of like engineering failure or whatnot. But you could at least, you know, see. And I also got like these cooling thingamajigs. So I put this one on here. And these are like, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. And I put one on this casing on the other side. Just like the old one, put in with love, as you can see, you know, just fuck it. The funny thing is, like, the drive is only half as long, so the other half, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it has some advantages, maybe it doesn't. The thing is just, uh, I want you to know this. So these are the main factors that you should consider. And yeah, you could also put this one in. As you can see, the funny thing is, this one requires... A super hardcore short one this requires like 22 20 30 or 40 i don't know but this one 48 so you have 48 here uh, 48 millimeters you have 80 millimeters here okay and you have i don't know 20 or 28 millimeters i i have no clue about these form factors because there are like uh, what is it six or eight form factors in the length you know only from the length and then you keep in mind uh, the M key and the B key. The modern ones only have an M key, if I'm not mistaken. And the older ones, the SATA 3 uh, interfaces have an M and a B key. Keep that also in mind. Do your fucking research with ChatGPT. Um, the specs of your laptop, um, the specs of what you're buying, compare it with prices online and then you should get the proper result. And uh, also I had like quite dusty fans and uh, yeah. The funny thing is, uh, when I had it open up, uh, I started like four 2K videos and it took like one or two minutes until the fans started to spin up. So it takes quite a while until the CPU says, yo, I'm too hot. <laughs> okay, I hope uh, this gives you some sort of guidance and relief in this whole topic and issue. Bye-bye.